guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome to a video on how to transfer your Xbox 360 worlds to Minecraft Xbox One. Now yesterday we got the update on Xbox 360. This was title update 17, the save transfer update. So this is pretty easy to do. You do have to go from one console to another. So if you're having to unplug wires, this can be annoying. You could also only do one world at a time. So the first world I'm going to be doing is my world I started on the day one of Minecraft and that is my new world. Now you'll see at the bottom, it's got A to select, B back, X change storage device, Y upload save for Xbox One or RB to save options. All you simply do is press Y, it will bring up this menu and it says only one Xbox 360 console save can be stored in the save transfer area at a time. Please ensure you have downloaded the save on your Xbox One console before uploading another Xbox 360 console save. So, as you do this, you press upload save and you need to wait for the process to fully happen. So now the process is fully complete, you're done on Xbox 360, as you can see, upload save for Xbox One, upload complete, press OK. Now at this point you don't need to do anything else on Xbox 360, so it's time to hop on to Xbox One. OK, at this point all you need to do is launch Minecraft Xbox One, and I'll explain to you all the steps that you do need to do. Now I still need to download all the DLC from Xbox 360 to Xbox One, the Halo Master Pack, uh, Mass Effect and the Skyrim one. Now once you do fully load Minecraft Xbox One Edition, it is pretty much self-explanatory, but what you need to do is, as you can see, go into play game. From here on the bottom, it will say A to select, B is back, and X to retrieve Xbox 360 save. So we're gonna quickly just retrieve the, retrieve the save. Now it can take a little bit of time, so I will just quickly skip ahead. Okay guys, at this point you can see retrieving Xbox 360 save, download and conversion to Xbox One format complete, press OK and you'll notice that my world will also be available on Minecraft Xbox One. Now my controllers are currently dying so I do apologize for that. So if I go down as you can see my world is here. You'll notice all the texture packs from Xbox 360 and the mashup packs are available. You do have to re-download them but they are free. So all I'm simply going to do is load my actual world in the default texture and show you what this does look like. So if I load that, you'll notice in the top it's got like create. It's been created in creative mode. Uh, it's got the seed survival. It's on easy, uh, and it says this world has previously been created. Okay, so it's just explaining that you can't gain achievements in the world if it has been created in creative mode. Um, so I'm going to quickly just show you guys what my world does look like. And the fact is that you can keep your world. It's a brilliant process. You could have lost your world. They could have made a start all over again, but that didn't happen. It has been transferred. As you can see, it's continued to the exact point where I did uh, when I did leave, which I think is an absolutely amazing thing. Which is good because if you do want to just continue this world on Xbox One, you can do that, or you can keep on Xbox 360. It is fully down to you. But you'll notice that the um, the little uh, help bar is showing up there with the sugar cane. But this is my world. I created this on day one of Minecraft Xbox 360 being released. If you have any issues regarding the save transfer, let me know in the comment section and I will help you to the best of my ability. All I know is you can only do one world at a time. This means going from Xbox 360 to Xbox One and fully uploading it. But hopefully this did help you out. I have many videos coming for you all later on. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time.